My name is Gerald Harkins and I'm an OBGYN, primarily a GYN surgeon here at the uh, Penn State uh, Milton Hershey Medical Center. We come in in the morning fairly early, usually by 6 a.m. Uh, we meet and uh, we round as a team to see each of the patients. Two days a week I go to the office and meet with new patients or meet people with uh, surgical problems. Uh, two to three days a week then I'm in the operating room. Uh, and we're in the OR suites, we're working with residents, we're working with med students here from Penn State as well. We usually operate throughout the day. Sometime in the afternoon, usually by 3 or 4 o'clock, we finished up. And then as a group and as a team, we'll meet and we'll round again on our surgery patients for the day. And then usually by about uh, 5.30 or 6 o'clock at night, uh, we've made our rounds for the evening and we'll uh, break for the day. That's a pretty standard day for us. Water. For people thinking about a career in medicine, it better be something that um, you have an interest in either science or biology. You don't have to know what you want to do as a 15-year-old or a 17-year-old. Don't think you have to be an orthopedic surgeon or a GYN surgeon uh, or a neurosurgeon or a family practice doctor, an anesthesiologist, whatever the case. Know that you want to, to go to college and to study science or go to college and study biology and each of those will open up different windows for you as you go on. The people in the OR, the, uh, the OR nurses, uh, nurse anesthetists, anesthesiologists, the, the, the certified scrub techs who work in the OR every day, what a great job uh, for them as well. So there's a lot more to being in the hospital than being the physician. We're, we're probably the minority sort of numbers within the hospital. There's so much support staff, respiratory therapy, I was physical therapy before this. All those people work in the hospital as well and make the process go forward. My name is Teresa Shank and I'm an OR tech at the Penn State Milton S. Hershey Medical Center. An OR tech is the person who stands beside the surgeon and when the surgeon asks for an instrument, we pass it to him. I was trained in the military. I was in the military for four years. So I did three years of uh, actual uh, working in the operating room. I uh, came here right from the military. I've been here for 26 years. I like working with the surgeons and I like working with uh, different patients and I also like the staff that we have here. It's very important to be part of the team because without a team concept you don't work well together. Every case is different. Um, sometimes you have complications, sometimes you don't. But for the most part everyone works together and we get through the case. A student who wants to become an OR tech has to be very outgoing, um, needs to be uh, very intuitive as to what's going on, needs to be able to pay attention, um, needs to be able to think before they're asked for things. They um, have to have the team concept and just be able to do the job that they were hired to do. Well, my original interest in medicine was uh, actually more of an interest in science and biology. I actually ended up uh, first off as a uh, athletic trainer in sports medicine and then I went on to be, I was a physical therapist uh, for many years and at some point then uh, I uh, found out that I wanted to go to medical school but uh, I had a couple of careers before medicine but they were all you know science and biology oriented. Medical school itself is uh, four years past uh, four years of college then uh, you'll go on to some type of a residency program and res residency training program and they can vary anywhere from uh, three to uh, five years as well at that point you really enjoy what you're doing and uh, every day becomes sort of an adventure in learning and it's uh, it's much more uh, it, it seems like a, a sort of an enjoyable road to go down. I'm Patrick McQuillan and I'm an anesthesiologist at Hershey Medical Center. Anesthesiologists take care of patients in the operating room and what's involved in that is monitoring all the patients uh, vital signs keeping uh, everything in order administering the medications and the fluid that the patients need during surgery and then at the end of the operation provide a smooth emergence from anesthesia and then provide um, post-op pain management for patients in the recovery room and in the hospital after surgery I guess I could say if you're not a morning person um, you might not consider anesthesia You, you, you have to get up early, you know, early, early days. Individuals by themselves uh, can't do this, and it really takes a team. And uh, as you've seen from the, the video here, we have surgeons, anesthesiologists, uh, scrub nurses, scrub techs, 
um, uh, the operating room nurses. A uh, successful day is um, when you, you can go home and, and you, you know in your heart that, uh, that you've taken good care of the patients that you're responsible for. My name is Desiree Oliveri McElhenney and I'm a certified registered nurse anesthetist. Most days, um, typically we show up around quarter after six, twenty after six in the morning. Um, your duties are such that you need to prepare the operating room before the patient enters. Um, once that is done, we've drawn up our drugs, prepared our equipment, checked everything is functioning. Then we go see the patient, start their IV, talk to them about their anesthetic, make sure all their paperwork is in line, transport the patients to the operating room, prepare them on the operating room table, get them ready for induction, call our supervising anesthesiologist to join us. Together we get the patient safely off to sleep and then at that point we pass over the patient to the surgeon so they can go ahead and perform the procedure. There are so many different variables in the operating room that affect how the outcome will be and that's from the anesthesia technicians to the surgical technician to the operating room nurses the anesthesia professionals, the surgical team. If you're not all working together, um, things will not go quickly. You'll not have a successful surgical outcome. So when all those things sort of click and everybody's on the same page, it is just a very overall satisfying experience for everyone and for the patient ultimately. The biggest difference between an anesthetist and an anesthesiologist would be the amount of training such that an anesthesiologist goes to medical school for four years, a nurse anesthetist goes to school for four years to get their undergraduate degree in nursing. Um, and then the real difference would be the two, two and a half years, the 30 months that it takes to become an, a CRNA. It's a very compressed schedule, it's very intense training which is didactic and clinical training all interspersed within that 30 month period. Oh, I, I feel um, advanced practice nursing is a great avenue for um, young men and women to explore. It really opens up so much into the profession. It's a great way to advance your career, to get a master's degree, to possibly even get a doctoral degree. Um, and there's, there are more financial um, positives to doing it also, but I would hope that's not the only reason people do it. The most rewarding aspect of what my career is, is I know at the end of the day when I've left, I've done the best I can. Um, my patients have all done very well. They've woken up comfortably. Um, we've accomplished the goals of getting them a successful surgical procedure, um, a very good anesthetic. Um, and that's a very satisfying feeling at the end of the day when your patient looks at you and smiles and says thank you. My name's Ann Boyer. I'm a registered nurse in the main operating room at Hershey Medical Center. I just think that nursing in general is a very satisfying and fulfilling job, regardless of whether you're in the operating room or on the floor. Um, if you have that, that desire to take care of people, um, it does, it, it gives back. It, every, in every aspect, it gives back. And uh, that's what I like about it. Some days um, are very hectic and some days are very quick. Uh, some days are very long. Um, it's very rewarding to know that you are bringing a patient in um, who is ill and we can make them better by, through surgery. It's, it's great. I did most of my background education at Hack on a part-time basis. So that took me many years because I was married and had a family. It was very, very challenging. I was just totally in awe when I went into that operating room. I think it was a, a total knee that I saw or something. And I was just, I cannot believe they can do that to somebody. And they're, and they're going to make him better. He's going to be able to walk when they're done. And he's not going to have any pain in that knee. <laughs> and it was great. Um, so I knew right off the bat that that's what I wanted to do. I, I love surgery. And every day we still learn. <laughs> Um, even being here, I'm working on six years in the operating room and I'm still learning things on a daily basis. It's a good feeling when you help someone, when you make a difference in somebody else's life or their family. They appreciate everything that you do for them from step one all the way through to the end. Um, and that just gives you a warm, fuzzy feeling on the inside.
You have to be a very hardworking person and dedicated. My day was so full in nursing school, I couldn't even begin to tell you how full it was. When I was finished and I look back on what I did, I was so proud of myself. I, and doing it with a family, which I wouldn't recommend. If you're going to do it, do it right out of high school. Don't wait until you're married with children. Um, it is very rewarding, and I wouldn't take a minute of it back. Not one minute of it. There are so many people that you can work with and help. Uh, it, it can be almost endless because there's always more patients to work with and to help out. Um, you just have to remember that you need time for yourself, you need time for your family. There's no doubt that you have to see that what you're doing uh, is helping patients, patients who are otherwise you know, medically sick or in trouble, um, that you can make an impact on their life that, that changes things for them, that gives them better quality of life. So you know, it's great to hear from them one year out or two years out, hey, you know, that was a great change that, that you helped me with. There, I mean, that's, that's such a positive accolade that uh, it, it just it, it, what makes you kind of keep going every day. I think it's hard uh, to uh, know exactly where you're going to end up in the, in the future. As long as you're doing something you enjoy and something that uh, uh, you know, gives you joy to learn about, it, it's, it's all good. Uh, and certainly now where I've ended up and, and where I'm working, is, it's fantastic.